Okay, right now we're looking at this pi. We're going to the regression and correlation, linear relationship, and the sample correlation coefficient. It gives you four graphs, and they want to ask you which data set is apparently positive but not perfect. And we're going to go over and show some examples of each one. This is a positive correlation. R is 0.851. A positive correlation. It's even closer. R is getting closer to 1. And the perfect R is equal to 1. For the negative, this is a negative correlation. It's angling this way. A negative correlation getting closer to 1. Observe the negative. Perfect negative correlation, R is negative 1. The other two situations are no correlation. The points will be scattered. Nonlinear will show something of a more U-shape or something that is not forming a line. Okay, now with the question, which data set has an apparent positive but not perfect linear relationship between two variables? And what Alex seems to do with the answer is look at the data set that they have assigned the variables to. And those are listed here under the points. So this is somewhat a positive but not perfect. So this answer, figure two, would be the one that I would want. It's UV. Which data set indicates the strongest negative relationship between two variables? This has a negative a perfect negative correlation. X, Y is the answer. For which data set is the sample correlation coefficient R equal to 1? That would be positive and there isn't 1. So for that one I would say none of the data sets. For which data set is the sample correlation coefficient R closest to zero? If it was close to zero, it was very scattered. This is the answer for that one. That is on the axis WT. That will be my answer. Next, and we got it right.